again. Okay, Joseph Jay! Thank you. Uh, my lovely Facebook friends. We are both huge in Pakistan. <laughs> little girls have posters of me on their walls. <laughs> yeah, those little whores. <laughs> I just performed last week at a gay bar in Brooklyn. And uh, I'm not really into bars that much. <laughs> Do you guys, anybody drink Corona? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not really into. I think Corona is just Budweiser poured through Mexican people's underwear. <laughs> just me. Any like frat guys here, or like crazy drunk girls who play beer pong? I'm not really. I don't really like beer pong. I don't like drinking beer that's had all those dirty bowls dipped in it. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was at this gay bar. <laughs> there were all these, there were all these uh, safe sex messages, and they were giving out condoms everywhere. Because when I think of gay guys, I think of responsible sexual habits. <laughs> First thing that comes to my mind. <clears throat> the hell else was in my set? It's all gone now. I'm just gonna do my closer. <laughs> This reminds me of the time I was at Universal Studios <laughs> and I got stuck on the Philadelphia ride. I had to watch Tom Hanks get AIDS for three hours. <laughs> like people, why did they even have a ride for that movie? It's like a depressing movie. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of people graduating this week and uh, I went to my best friend's little sister's graduation. She graduated from culinary school. I was like, wow, I watched you grow up. And now you're a heart surgeon? <laughs> fucking crazy. So I was, I was actually running late trying to get here tonight, so I, I only had time to shave one of my balls. Oh, no. I guess growing up the shaved bowl or the unshaved bowl? <laughs> I didn't come here tonight in New York City to talk about my balls. My dick. When it's not hard, looks like a little mushroom sitting in a beanbag chair. But I don't just do comedy in Brooklyn at gay bars. I, I sweep the streets for New York City sanitation in Brooklyn. And I like to with the neighborhood just change in like one block. I'll go from sweeping up yarmulkes and dreidels to sweeping up like chicken bones and weaves and like. <laughs> but you learn a lot about people's cultures from picking up their garbage. I worked, I worked in like this crazy Hasidic Jewish neighborhood in uh, during Passover, and. They're allowed to do things that if I did, I would get thrown in, a, in jail or a mental hospital. They just throw out all their whole house at the same time, like like it's a contest. It's like reverse supermarket sweep, and they set everything on fire and throw it in the streets. So I'm driving the garbage truck down the street, and this guy picks up this big bundle of, of food and, and shit from his house, and it's on fire. And he wants to throw it on my paper recycling side of my truck. I'm like, sir, that's, that's on fire. You can't see. He's like, no, it's not. But there's smoke coming from me. <laughs> like, is part of Passover murdering a, a Gentile garbage man? <laughs> Blowing up his truck. So a really nice guy, somebody had drawn, a, like in Greece, a swastika on the side of my truck, which is really not good to drive around a Jewish neighborhood during Passover with. So as soon as he told me, I wiped it off, and I was like, holy shit, thank God nobody saw that. And this is the part of the story that's right after this is going to turn into bullshit. <laughs> is, um, so then I accidentally wiped my face with the grease and put like a Hitler mustache on by accident. <laughs> My partner was backing up, and I was like, stop, stop! <laughs> but that was the part of the joke that was bullshit anyway. But all the other shit really happens. Yeah. Uh, so I was at the strip club the other night, and I was talking to this stripper, and uh, by talking to him, I mean she was uh, giving me a lap dance and rubbing my balls. And being a garbage man, I'm really good at identifying smells. <laughs> 
So, I was getting this vibe of her, like, she just smoked a cigarette, and some, someone put it out by pissing on her. She's a really nice girl. Give it up for the lovely, the beautiful,